Hello everyone and welcome to a really wonderful game from the final round of the rapid section of the Super United Blitz tournament in Croatia in Zagreb. It's Jordan Paforest versus Alireza Firuja and uh, after this game you will never uh, again have to fear facing the Berlin defense because this is just a, a very refreshing and a very new way of uh, dealing with it. It's not um, it's not completely new. Uh, there have been attempts at, at uh, trying this on the, on the absolute top level but they didn't really go all that well. Uh, so without further ado, let's check it out and see what we mean by this. Uh, the leaders, basically, of the tournament, um, uh, a clash for for first place. Who will who will take the rapids? So Jordan opens with e4. We have e5. Like we said, it's going to be a nice Berlin knight to c6, bishop to b5. The Rue Lopez is on the board and knight to f6. The Berlin defense is also on the board. Uh, castles and knight captures on e4, accepting the Rio Gambit. We have rook to e1 and knight to d6. Now this is all very very standard stuff we've seen this many many times knight captures on e5 bishop to e7 and now uh, we have to move the bishop back so bishop to f1 knight captures on e5 rook captures and now uh, uh, alireza castles we have pawn to d4 bishop to f6 chasing uh, away the rook rook to e1 and now uh, rook to e8 and here uh, there are uh, a couple of moves that are very popular here for example c3 just strengthening the pawn here capturing the rook here is very popular developing the bishop is very popular but the move Jordan plays has only been played a handful of times he plays knight to c3 which uh, makes sense you develop a knight but uh, what happens if just rook captures on e1 queen captures and bishop captures on d4 it seems like it's a free pawn uh, so wh what ex exactly do you do you gain from this well uh, let's uh, let's uh, check out and see uh, as extreme measures are required to crush the Berlin defense. So here uh, we have bishop capture, uh, sorry, rook captures on e1 first, queen captures and bishop captures on d4. Alireza wins a pawn and uh, what does Jordan have to show for it? Well, uh, the knight on d6 is uh, very oddly placed uh, now with, with this exact um, uh, uh, position of all the pieces and pawns. Uh, the problem is you have to move it, you have to move this pawn and then only then will you be able to continue your development so here uh, in the game that i mentioned caruana versus wesley so uh, it was played also in the grand chester but in the paris um, uh, rapid tournament and there uh, fabi played bishop to f4 which is the absolute top move recommended by the engine but uh, um, jordan goes for something else he plays bishop to d3 and now uh, it is as of move 13 that we have a completely new game so uh, let's see how Alireza deals with this. He plays bishop captures on c3. Uh, you don't have to play this, but um, uh, it, uh, it, it, it the bishop is also very very odd, uh, very oddly placed. For example, uh, you might uh, let's say you try to uh, develop the knight, knight to e4. Now you want to play d6 to develop the bishop. Already queen to e4, and you can resign. There's the threat of queen captures on h7 and just queen captures on d4. So not very uh, good for the bishop to remain there. So Alireza just uh, trades as bishop captures on c3 queen captures and now knight to e8 so now we have b3 the bishop is coming to b2 of course we want to have this diagonal all, all to ourselves the pawn to d6 and bishop to b2 so what did jordan get for his pawn well uh, he has the bishop pair which is already justified in itself and he has uh, the uh, bishop pair nicely aiming uh, at the black king and it's also very very easy uh, to get the rook into the attack for example rook e1 rook e3 rook to g3 or h3 uh, all of your pieces are attacking the black king and alireza still has to uh, develop uh, well start developing uh, for, for the price of that one pawn so uh, for classical maybe not so great but for rapid and blitz uh, should work uh, just fine bishop to e6 and now we have queen to b4 uh, attacking the the b7 pawn here and uh, this is where um, uh, Jordan seemingly out prepared Alireza it would seem you have to defend the pawn with rook to b8 but even then you are you know just playing a weird position that has never been reached before uh, but here uh, Alireza plays bishop to d5 makes sense you defend the pawn and you have your own bishop attacking the white king uh, but now just queen to f4 and again there are uh, there are some problems here uh, the bishop on d5 is undefended and you could run in 
into uh, uh, you could run into a lot of trouble here. So just knight to f6, defending the bishop and defending the h7 pawn, and now comes rook to e1. This is the absolute best move and the only way to push for the win here. Uh, if you try some tricky bishop captures on h7 moves that, uh, you know, it seems like it's fine knight captures, let's say you go uh, queen d4, you threaten checkmate and threaten to win back your piece, uh, just queen g5. Uh, defense checkmate, defends the bishop here, so no, no problem. So rook to e1, the move Jordan plays is uh, indeed the way to go. We have bishop back to e6. Alireza again has to waste the move because the bishop on d5 is undefended and very weirdly placed. It is defended by the knight, but uh, it, it, it's not, uh, you know, the best. Uh, so here, rook to e3, we are getting that free rook lift. King to f8, uh, and now pawn to c4. You could also play rook to f3. Yeah, Jordan first wants to um, uh, make his pawn structure here uh, nicely uh, nicely set up. We have knight to h5 now attacking the queen, and queen to f3. Just attacking the knight. Knight back to f6, and here queen captures on b7. So you win your pawn back, and you have uh, the bishop pair and a really, really awesome position. So here, knight to g4, attacking the rook, just rook to g3. Now, if you move the knight, of course, there's going to be a problem. Uh, rook to b8 chases the queen back, and now queen to e4. Now, just threatening to win material. So here, queen to g5. You could also bring the knight back to f6, but it really doesn't help. Queen to g5 by Alireza. Now comes queen captures on h7, uh, king to e7, and now comes queen captures on g7. And this is uh, one move that uh, allows Alireza to get back into the game. Uh, it's not all that clear why, but it will become clear uh, once we continue the game. But just to show you uh, an example, if you go for bishop captures on g7 instead, then the queen covers the h2 pawn. That's, you know, it seems weird from this position, but look at this. Queen to d2 uh, attacks the f2 pawn and the bishop. You're going to play rook to f3 uh, to keep everything defended. Queen to e1 check, you have to play bishop back to f1 and now knight captures on h2. Uh, that's the problem. Only uh, it's not a problem as the queen covers the h2 square. If the queen wasn't covering the h2 square, you'd have to capture then queen captures on f1 and so on, which is exactly what happened in the game as Jordan played queen captures on g7. So now queen to d2 uh, uh, threatens a, a check here, also uh, putting pressure on the bishop, also putting pressure on the bishop, also putting pressure on the f2 pawn. So the pieces are protected, but the f2 pawn is not. So rook to f3, queen to e1 check, bishop to f1, and now knight captures on h2. Uh, this is what Alireza finds, as now the queen is no longer guarding this um, uh, this h2 pawn. King captures on h2, uh, and now queen captures on f1. We have c5. Uh, this is the only way to continue pushing for the win. Uh, and here Alireza completely blunders the game. Uh, you have to, uh, you know, start bringing your king to safety. But Alireza played queen to d1, uh, and now you have one move that just ends the game. Uh, so feel free to pause the video here and try to find this move while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on realizing that if the king did not have the d7 square, you can just resign. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is, of course, pawn to c6. This is what Alireza missed. And as soon as he saw this, he resigned the game as there is nothing more to be done here. So really a beautiful, beautiful win against the Berlin defense with that uh, pawn sacrifice that kind of, you know, uh, you just sacrifice a pawn and you have a bishop pair and an easy way to uh, get your rook into the attack. I mean, uh, who, who would not uh, go for this. It's just a beautiful, beautiful way to approach uh, fighting the Berlin, and I think it could become very, very popular if you, you know, play online. You know, you face the main line, and um, you know, it could be could be popular. Uh, so here you resign because there's really nothing to do. Uh, if bishop to f6 check, you're, you're going to have to move the king back, and then queen to g8 will be checkmate. So basically, the only way to stop this is to play rook f8, um, uh, that way uh, you will not have to worry about queen to g8 check, but still bishop to f6 with check, king to e8, now bishop to h4, and there's no defense against uh, this checkmate or this checkmate, it's unplayable. Yeah, you could play queen d5, hoping let's say for queen f6 and then queen e5 check the trade of the queens, but after rook e3 you take away this queen uh, uh, square from the black queen, and uh, now there's nothing. Queen captures on c6 can be played, but now you run into rook captures on e6 with check, and now if you capture this is check, 
checkmate and if you don't capture you're just uh, down material and you're going to get checkmated uh, fairly soon uh, so yeah uh, after a c6 Alireza resigns and a spectacular victory for Jordan Van Forest uh, who even after losing that game to Magnus Carlsen uh, uh, gets the first place these are the standings after nine rounds of the of the rapid section Jordan Van Forest with 12 points in first place uh, with 11 points uh, we have shared between Magnus Carlsen Wesley Soen and Alireza Firuja with 10 Maxim Vashel Grav Yanni Pomnishi with 9, uh, Shahriya Mamidara with 8, Linear Dominguez with 7, Ivan Sharic with 6, and Veselin Topalov with 5 points. So really an awesome, uh, awesome start to the tournament. And now we have two more days of Blitz, and then we are going to see who will take the uh, the, the Croatia uh, Grand Chester Rapid and Blitz uh, uh, tournament. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, very, very nicely done by Jordan. I'm, I'm pretty sure the Knight C3 line could pick up uh, <laughs> very easily. Uh, at least in shorter time formats. Uh, I would like to thank Gordon Mercer, Tsanko Tsolov, Rai Travis, uh, Michael Kalber, and Kevin Klein for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon continuing the coverage of this wonderful event uh, until it finishes. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.